time for another side quest. We're gonna go meet Poppy at the Forbidden Forest. See what she's up to with the beast and uh, get this side quest completed. Let's go do that now. Hogsmeade's looking awesome as usual for the holiday season. Why am I going this way? Meet Poppy. Yeah, I want to go outside of Hogsmeade to be able to fly. I keep on hearing a noise here, though. Let's just get outside of the... What is that? Do you hear that? Is it up here? Something's messing with us. <laughs> Rebellion. I don't know what that was, but it's kind of funny. It's messing around with... Uh... Alright, we don't want to go in there. I've already done that. Let's go outside of Hogsmeade and get on our broom and go find Poppy. Instead of messing about with weird things. Things that go bump in the night. <laughs> Alright. Can I ride my room here? No. Yes, I can. I certainly can. Alright. I should have just... How far is she? She's not that far. I would have used the flame to travel, but she's pretty close, so... We don't need the flu flame. I can do this. I can do this. They will want to help. Is this where we're meeting the centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise, I suppose. Once we tell them about the Snidgets, they'll understand why we came and they'll want to help. I hope you're right. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere. There's something about them that's so knowing. It's almost unnerving. I suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience. That's exactly the right word. I just... never mind. What is it? It's nothing, truly. I've... we've no secrets to hide. That's right. We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll have to help us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. We'll meet with them, tell them about the Snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fu- What do you think you're doing here, humans? Please! We were hoping to speak with you- Ah! I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur, and it spoke back. No! Never! We're here because we need your help! Enough! You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Leave them be, Alec. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continues to slaughter beasts like us without a care. From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. <clears throat> He's not very nice. Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now. Follow me before Golden I... Golden Snidgets are still alive, and the poachers are after them. 
They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means yet. Please help us find the snidgets before the poachers do. Could it be? In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek, a moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. I don't understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. What do moonstones have to do with Snidgets? And why was he so certain about where we could find one? Isn't moonstone all around us? Why retrieve one from a cave? Knowing centaurs, I suspect he's referring to a specific moonstone. We'll likely know it when we see it. I don't know, but I am inclined to believe him, what with his being a centaur and all. I am too. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. I can head to the library and start looking into the cave he mentioned. I'll let you know what I find. That's it? That's the entire quest? I thought we were going to do something. Okay, well, we'll just go do something else. Let's find out uh, what the next quest will be, because this is too short. Uh, quest we can go and do. I uh, don't need that. Nope. Okay, we'll do this. Meet Natty. All right. Located on the map, we'll just flu flame to her. Oh, she's way up there. Okay, we have a flu flame right next to her, though. Okay. Can I get the... There it is. Right about here. You are here. Good. Is this Mr. Bickle's home? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Harlow. We need to speak with him. Oh. My husband. What will I do? Where could Archie have... Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband... is dead! He killed him! Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow! I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and... Oh, where is my son? Where is Archie? I don't mean to be grim, but could Harlow have taken him? Archie's satchel is missing, so he may have left on his own. Hopefully he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... When my husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? <laughs> um... He has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father, uh, I'm afraid to leave in case he comes back home. Is there anything more you can tell me about Harlow? Oh, he's Victor Rookwood's second in command. A miserable, awful creature. Vicious and murderous. What reason would Harlow have to kill your husband? My husband had been looking into Harlow's dealings and discovered some of what he's been up to. 
I begged him to leave it alone, but he... He was convinced that... Uh, <laughs> we'll find your son, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> Please do not worry, Mrs. Bickle. Where are you, Archie? When I took the letter we found to Officer Singer, she told me about Mr. Bickle. He had been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer with evidence to take down Harlow. I had hoped to speak with him about what he had found, but we were too late. What did Officer Singer say about the letter you brought her? She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that hippogriffs cannot speak. Your friend Highwing could provide all the evidence against Halo that we need. We will need something more. This must be little Archie's hideout that Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Archie? Archie Bickle! Rebellion. He would not have done this to his own hideout, Someone came here looking for him. Revelio may be our only hope of finding out which way he went. There! Archie's footprints! He went this way! I'm sure there's nothing else in there. <laughs> Gotta check everything in this game because, you know, you might miss it if you don't. Rebellion. I thought we would have found Archie by now. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. Men like Harlow would not think twice about killing a child. We must find Archie quickly. For a fight. didn't cross paths with that wolf pack. We should look around. Revelio. Archie's satchel. Why would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Harlow, distracted. This may be a good time for Revelio again. Revelio. Something right here underneath the ground for sure. Uh, let's see. I don't see his footprints anymore. They were here. Oh, what's over here? Is that his bag again? Yeah. There's nothing in it though. Rebellion. Archie went this way. I have a bad feeling about this. Harlow must have a reason for pursuing Archie. I wonder what Archie saw. 
I hope he didn't see Harlow kill his father. He would never overcome it. At least not in any way I can imagine. A fork in the road. We will need Revelio again. Revelio. Multiple sets of footprints. Oh, Harlow caught up to him here. This is not good. They went this way. Beautiful, are they not? You can see Thestrals too. I witnessed death when I was nine. Saw my first Thestral shortly thereafter. I found comfort in it. I still do. I think those of us who have witnessed death deserve some comfort. I'm sorry you experienced something like that at so young an age. I was with my father when he died. Rebellion. My mother was away and I felt quite helpless. It was a long time ago in some ways, but in other ways, it seems like it was only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. You must miss him. My father was a wonderful man. I... <clears throat> Let us keep moving. We must find Archie. I feared they have Archie. Be on your guard. There can be no mistakes. Tend to be so large on the Revelio. That complicates things a little. <laughs> I really dig the inside of this tent. <laughs> Don't you wish that tents were like this in real life? Little tiny tent, you walk into it, and it's got this huge building on the inside. Rebellion. <gasps> you don't think he saw it happen? Expelliarmus! Confringo! Bombarder! Uh, uh, uh. 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 Oh, my God. 
Bombarda. Rebellion. How can someone help me? Is anybody there? Please, I need your help. Archie. Archie Bickle. How do you know who I am? Your mother sent us to find you. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Not too loud, Archie. Sorry. We need to get this open. Aloha, Mora. I'm Uncle Tarlo. He killed my father. We're so sorry, Archie. We won't let him get away with it. But first, we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. We wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Now, let's get you home. We know a safe way back. who took me talking about them. Which friends, darling? Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. Mr. Filbert. And I think they also said Otto's name. Oh. I shall speak with them. You run inside. Yes, Mother. Your husband's friends may be in danger. Just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. It may be too late for that. I'm afraid Harlow's already after us. Then you needn't anger him further. I assure you, the threat could be a lot worse. Please, please keep your distance. I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. Not to worry, Mrs. Bickel. My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof alone. We are here to help each other. I must learn more about Mr. Bickel's friends and why Harlow is after them. You'll be hearing from me as soon as I know something. Thank you for your help today. All right, everyone, that is going to end this quest. It is complete, The Lost Child. And I imagine we're going to be continuing on with uh, this quest further down the line while, you know, the uh, sequence of what whatever comes next. So we will do that in future videos. I will see you then.